Welcome back to the channel you guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be going into waterproofing an RC boat. How to keep water out of an RC boat. How to keep your hatch on your RC boat so you don't get water in your RC boat. I'm basically going to go into hatch, hatch locking systems, hatch waterproofing, how to waterproof your hatch, how to track down, trace out, and fix a, a leak through your drive line, what to look out for, how to track down and find, prevent leaks through your transom, um, what to do to your boat after you sank your boat, how to prevent your electronics from being water damaged if you sink your boat, flotation, uh, big box store flotation, what I found that works best, what I found that doesn't work, uh, sealants, epoxies, where to put the epoxy, where to put the sealants, uh, how much, greases, uh, the whole freaking night. Knock it all out in this freaking video, you guys. Uh, so stick around, stick around. You might walk away from this video a little drier. <laughs> It, you guys let's get to it uh one of the biggest problems one of the biggest issues with rc boats is uh water you know how to keep water out of your boat how to keep the inside of your boat dry it's something i freaking struggle with every time i take my boat out okay i'm always worried about getting too much water in my boat um a little bit of water in your boat is not going to hurt too much you know a little bit of water is not going to hurt um a lot of water will actually do a number on your servo, your electronics, your bearings, and your motor. Um, yeah, so so there's a there's quite a few ways you could try to keep water out of your boat. Okay, um, basically the the easiest way to keep water out your boat is to tape your hatch on. Okay, use like a Horizon Hobby uh, hatch tape. All right, it's waterproof. It's a uh, it, it doesn't leave residue on your hatch and it usually nine times out of ten it will definitely keep your hatch on your boat it, it does a great job okay um i i've used i've used duct tape all right i've used medical tape this waterproof medical tape it's cheap and it works all right um electrical tape doesn't work all that great definitely don't use painter's tape that doesn't work all right uh Another way, another way you could keep water out of your boat without using tape is use like a weather seal. Okay, use a weather seal around around your hatch opening. Kind of like this mini mono right here. You see how it's got weather seals stuck around the hatch? And uh, once you put your hatch on, it actually gives you like a nice tight fit. Okay, in order for the weather stripping to actually work on your boat your hatch needs to be actually locked on the boat okay uh, this little mini mono actually uses a little a little hatch lock like a, a sliding hatch lock that just slides over the hatch and it has two little posts in the back that goes right into a couple little holes on the hatch boom Okay, that works pretty good for like ABS polycarbonate holes, and then you just latch it down. All right, that'll keep water out the boat without hatch tape, using the weather stripping alone for waterproofing. Okay, another way to do it is to use uh, this style hatch lock. This is something I came up with. It's not my idea, but uh, it works. All right, you got your hatch. I just epoxied a piece of aluminum that I can like bend. It's kind of pliable aluminum that bends and that'll basically hook right under your hatch opening okay and then you put like a little thumb screw on the back of your hatch to keep it down all right uh you got a few different options for thumb screws okay you could use like a, a locking system like this all right you actually like spin that pin on this locking system okay you push it down you twist it it locks it you push it down untwist it and it'll pull the hatch off all right that's something you can get from like offshore electrics all right if you're trying to source something locally like at your big box store you can use these guys right here all right a curled head screw and a curled nut all right look something like this all right the ones i have for my little delta force is a 632 half inch screw with a 632 coarse nut, all right? Um, I take that coarse nut and I basically countersink it in the hole. What I did is I grinded that outer ring around that curled nut, okay? So it slides 
in the boat easy okay and then i just epoxied it in the boat all right it's simple pretty simple uh what you do is you just basically figure out where you want your holes drill the hole straight through okay straight through the boat boom 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 all right then you drill out the lower hole a little larger to accommodate your curled nut all right uh and then you just screw screw your curled screw in with a little o-ring or grommet on it i used a grommet because they're thicker and then you just screw it in that seals up the little hole there all right boom this is the cheaper quicker alternative to the the super nice hatch locks that you could find at offshore electrics there's other areas of the boat water can seep in and you and it's like a lot of times you won't even know it all right and you you're finding water in your boat constantly and uh you can't trace it down so uh one very common area of water gets in the boat is through your hardware okay marine adhesive sealant like this loctite on your strut on your rudder your turn fin any any screws or bolts that's going through the through the hull of the boat needs to be sealed up with some sort of adhesive sealant okay uh that's a common that's a common problem all right especially with ready to runs a lot of times they don't seal up the hardware um another really really common area water gets in your boat and it's like really hard to to trace down is through your strut okay or stinger okay so um I'm, I'm going to walk you through a couple of different problems and a couple of different solves. All right. So, uh, so just, just say, just say you've had your boat for a couple years and, uh, the boat's never leaked. Okay. And, uh, all of a sudden you're, you know, you start seeing a trickle of water in the boat and it starts getting worse and worse over time. Okay. Uh, the odds are is your, your strut bushings are wore out okay uh there's actually bushings in your strut that can wear over time uh i mean just from natural wear or lack of grease okay so the fix for that is either get a new bushing or replace the whole strut they also have like this one right here has actually it's actually got sleeve bushings that you actually have to compress and pull out or or tap out okay but you'll you'll see you'll see a little bit of play in in your in your your strut all right a little bit of play where the shaft goes in your strut okay that will allow water in your boat all right normally if this is the case it's just a little trickle Another really common issue with, with struts like this, a common strut, you know, something like this or something like this, is uh, your stuffing tube not being quite big enough or fitting tight enough into the strut itself, okay? So when you're running your boat, water is actually being forced in your strut and through the stuffing tube coming out in your boat okay uh one one easy easy fix is a piece of heat shrink over the strut and over the stuffing tube okay and then shrink it down all right you could even put a little bit of silicone in the heat shrink before you shrink it all right and that'll give you a nice tight waterproof fit okay another another way to fix that is to actually cut a stepped up brass tube all right cut a brass tube that fits in your strut perfect this one don't fit perfect but fits in there perfect with no play no slop all right then cut it to size and then run your stuffing tube in that stepped up brass tube all right and that'll close in any any gaps that you may have in your drive line forcing water up your stuff into okay if that don't work if that don't work i've actually tried this so this is your stuff into going in your boat all right i've done this in the past with, with a success um take a piece of silicone tube that actually kind of fits over your flex cable not not too snug you don't want a tight fitting uh silicone tube okay but something that's actually gonna like actually barely touch that cable all right and what that's gonna do 
is it's going to keep it's going to keep your grease in your stuffing tube. All right, it's going to keep the grease in your stuffing tube. That grease basically will act like a grease a dam, a water dam, keeping water from coming in the boat. Okay. It's basically not really waterproofing the stuffing tube. It's creating a grease dam. The grease dam in return keeps the water out the boat. All right, you guys got me? This and then your collet, your basically your collet would be right here for your motor. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Um if you have if you have a strut like this, okay, that that that's not really like in contact with flowing water. All right, kind of like kind of like this strut right here. It's like sitting on the transom. It's not like a hydro style setup. All right. All right. So let's take this uh, Sonic Wake strut for example. Okay. So you had a leak. Your your bushing was wore out. You had water coming in your boat through your stuffing tube. I'll show you how to identify a leak through the stuffing tube in just a second. But you uh, you replaced your bushing, all right, and you still have water coming in the boat. What's the deal, right? What's the deal? The shaft could be wore out, all right? These shafts will wear out. They'll wear out, okay? You may need to replace your shaft. Um, and the more play you have in your drive line, in your bushing, in your shaft, it's harder to keep grease in the stuffing tube, in the, in the strut, okay? You grease it all day long. As soon as you rev that motor up and run the boat, that grease is just going to fall right out and water's going to get in the, the drive line, okay? So <clears throat> you need a nice tight fitting shaft or a nice tight fish fitting bushing or both, all right? Uh, these, this isn't the right uh, thrust washer, but believe it or not, you know, if you got a, a proper set gap, okay, a, a thrust washer will actually help keep water out the boat. Yeah? No? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, so let's go out to the pool. I'm going to show you guys how to figure out if you have a, a leaky stuff or two, and we'll move on to another little aspect. Got the Blackjack 24 out here at the pool. Um, this I'm going to go over a couple ways you could track down a leak in your boat. All right, um, put a battery in your boat, okay? Take the propeller off your boat, all right? And uh, just sit it in the pool, in the pond, in a bathtub, and uh, spool, spool the motor up. A lot of times, a lot of times the boat won't leak, or it leaks very little until the motor spooled up. Once the motor spooled up, the vibrations from the motor will actually exacerbate the leak in your boat. Okay, so just spool it up. All right, spool it up and, and, and watch the stuffing tube right here. If you suspect water coming through the stuffing tube, watch for water leaks right here. A lot of times that flex cable will actually uh, like corkscrew water into the boat. Okay, um, another way you can prevent water from entering the boat is a Teflon liner. All right, it fits tighter than just running a bare stuffing tube. Another common place a boat will leak is the bellow. All right, this is the bellow for the push-pull steering. All right, that guy right there. Okay, um, it will leak right here where it actually goes through the hull of the boat. All right, because there's no adhesives, it's just like a press fit and it'll get wore out over time. That'll leak. Um, I've gotten ready to runs where the rod wasn't pushed through the hole. They were pushed through the side of the bellow, causing a leak. Also, if the bellows wore out right here where the rod goes through the bellow, that will leak. All right, an easy fix for that is just using a little tie strap around it or a piece of heat shrink over it and shrink it down to size to put some pressure on that uh, bellow through hole, okay? Um, so basically, you just put it in the water and, and look for leaks. Um, like I said, the, the vibrations from the motor will exacerbate any leaks you have in, this, in, the, in the boat. This boat, I could not track down the leak, and it was fairly, it was pretty bad, and it was only bad when I would run the boat. When I set the boat in the pool, no water any freaking where. 
But uh, I took the prop off like you guys seen and spooled it up. And like I said, the vibrations from the, the motor was causing uh, the stuffing tube to leak where it goes through the hole. The, the epoxy had broke loose from the factory and um, it was leaking pretty bad. So I replaced it. Problem solved. Okay. Um, another way, another other areas you could have a leak in your boat is through the o-rings on your water jacket the o-rings could be tore or or just dry rotted if it's an old one and water will um leak out the water jacket and you won't know it unless the boat is running okay uh water's going through the jacket there no water's in it right now so it's not going to leak leak of course and unless you're running the boat water's flowing through and you have leaks common common leak and and that's stumped me in the past um you can use zip ties on your on your silicone lines on your hose barbs right here that'll keep water from getting in your boat uh you can buy replacement o-rings or just replace the whole water jacket problem solved okay or there could be a hole in one of your lines all right where where maybe you were working with the boat and you actually tore a hole in the side of your silicone tube putting it on the barb right there all right you actually like tore tore the silicone tube like that and you didn't know there's a hole in it so check all your silicone tubes where they go on the barb because there could be a little a little crack right here okay um what else what else all right so right here right here is a very common place for water to leak where they just run the the silicone tubes through the hole right there all right that's a very common place for water to get in your boat uh, a lot of times that's a slow leak and it's not too bad you know um, you can get through holes or you can um, get like a hose a hose barb that actually goes over the hose and gets epoxied into the hole so yeah so yeah um let's go back in uh, i'll go over a few more things adhesive silicones that's not the only way to prevent water from coming in your boat you got your o-rings your grommets your heat shrinks grease grease like thick thick greases will help keep water out the boat so basically everything we went over so far is how to keep water out the boat okay what happens when you get or if you get water in the boat okay uh one way i like to waterproof my electronics is corrosion x okay uh it's it's great for receivers okay it's great for receivers it's great for speed controls that aren't encapsulated okay um dye electric grease works great for servos unfortunately i don't have any to show you guys dye electric grease works great liquid electrical tape works great for receivers several coats of liquid electrical tape take it out the little box here boom okay uh, that will help prolong the life of your electronics if you get water in the boat now what happens if you get a lot of freaking water in the boat okay the boats gonna sink of course okay unless unless you add flotation a lot of the ready to runs they come with flotation installed basically permanently installed all right uh if if you build your boat you may need to get be a little clever all right you could use pool noodles i use pool noodles a lot i use blocks of packing foam for flotation you can cut it to size you can cut it to shape this is like a preschooler building blocks that i've actually fell in freaking love with you guys i use it in pretty much all my boats and I use it everywhere. I use it for battery strap, hold downs, the whole freaking nut. That stuff's freaking awesome. It's great flotation. Uh, spray foam. It's, it's a great flotation. All right. The bad thing about spray foam, this great stuff, or any over-the-counter big box store spray foam, it's nine times out of ten, it's expanding foam. I think DAP makes a non-expanding spray foam all right i uh, had a recommendation from that from one of my subscribers he recommended it but if you use spray foam in your freaking boat you guys it's got to be able to escape you cannot enclose it while the spray foam is drying it will crack break disform your boat hole so um 
they make a uh, poor phone that's specifically designed for boats. Okay, it don't expand and uh, it you can cut it, you can manipulate it. Um, I, I would uh, I would go with foam pool noodles over like a spray foam. All right, um, I've used it in my boats in the past and I, and I love it. I love it. Um, I am finding out later on that it does absorb water slowly and it will actually add weight to your boat if you sink your boat no i take that back if you're a boater when when you sink your boat it's not a matter of if you're going to sink it it's when the boat's going to sink uh because it's going to happen to the, it happens to the best of us guys uh, a little fan like this works wonders after you've sunk your boat I use this thing all the time, as you could tell. Uh, I'll, I'll throw it in a wet boat overnight. I let it blow in there overnight. I also use a dehumidifier. A lot of you guys have already seen me use my dehumidifier. I just set my boat right on top of it, upside down. It dries the boat out in minutes. I just keep the batteries and everything in the boat over the dehumidifier or with the fan blowing in it. Boom. Dries a bone. Okay. So I, I just about covered everything you guys might need or know or might need to know about waterproofing, keeping water out the boat, how to keep your boat afloat, keep it above the water line. Okay. Uh, hopefully this video helped you guys out. It was a request from Scott seven eight nine or something like that it was a request type deal i've actually had several several guys uh having issues with water leaks i hope this answered your questions you guys i hope it answered your questions i kind of went over everything uh flotation I'm, the whole freaking nine i'm not even gonna spout it out i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching very informative Hit the like button, like comment subscribe share the video with other boaters with new boaters uh join the boat gang you could be in the boat gang too, huh? Big B <laughs> with Ironclad RC.